something I've never done before. Well, on this channel. In digital art. I have done this before, just not while well, recording, I guess. I've been in off-white, and I got my stylus here. It's kind of DIY, but I'm getting a new one soon, so yeah. I just didn't want like the pen part to be bugging me, bugging you, bugging the quality of this video. Let me first explain what I'm doing today. I'm going to be making a character for every single color of the rainbow. So, I'm just gonna get started. Skip to voice over me. Okay, hi. So, I'm basically just gonna start with a little sketch here and then move on to figuring out how to incorporate the first color, red. So, I just drew a little bunny, but it's no ordinary bunny. It's a straw bunny. So I just gave her a little bandana as a cute little accessory, and I am not going to lie, this freaking light gave me so much trouble. So I just added a layer and got started with the outline. And I remember during this entire process, I was thinking, what the heck am I gonna say in this voiceover? So yeah, I feel like she's a shy little bunny. What I mean is like, bunnies always give me a soft, cozy vibe. Maybe she's an artist. Yes, a bunny artist. What kind of art would she make? Would she become a famous artist? Bunny famous? Okay, I've got too far. I think it's fair enough for me to pick a name for her. After all, I already have an entire backstory. Per, er, Persephone. Persephone the bunny. Oh, boom, now we're already on to coloring. Wow. So I'm just gonna color in her little hat leaf green and color in the rest of her a pretty pink. And yes, I know that this is pink, not red, but that's what I prefer my rainbow to be like. My preferred rainbow is um, a pastel rainbow. Yes, a rainbow of beautiful pastel colors. So, this is gonna be like a light pink and a dark green. That's my favorite combination. So now I'm done with that, I'm gonna move on to the little bandana. So I think that I actually went for a really orangey red the first time. So after changing that, I added this little pattern and it ended up being really cute. It's missing something. So I added some shadows so it actually like kind of contrast, I guess and actually it ended up being way better. And I added this little thing on top, but then I realized it was stupid. Okay, here she is. I think she is so cute. Look at that little face of her. Persephone the bunny. Um, back to voiceover me, please. Here we are with the second one. This one is going to be orange themed, and if I'm being honest, this one is actually my favorite one of the entire thing of things that I did today, if that makes any sense. So, he's basically a squirrel, okay? And he is very protective of these so-called nuts that he found. Now, they're not actually nuts. Alas, they're oranges. And he does not know that. But you may be asking, why are the oranges so small? Well, the real thing is that they're not. It's because they're cuties. Cuties are his favorite thing to collect, but he does not know that they are cuties. So he's basically very protective over these and will destroy anything or anyone in his way to get to them. So he has a very serious expression on his face because he is committed to his job. He will take care of these no matter what, no matter all the crap they're dishing out. So he just does all that. And he thinks that he's doing such a good job being such a good um, protector of the oranges. I mean, nuts. So, Aside from his backstory, I actually had a lot of trouble coming up with the right color. You see, there's no difference, zero difference. So 
I actually ended up finding this really vivid color that I used for the like ears and tummy area. So after I colored in all the oranges, I added in some shadows and now Frank is done. Okay, I'm back. We finished Frank. So my last one, obviously yellow because that's what comes next in the rainbow. So at this point, I was getting a bit tired. As you can see, the lighting is different and it has changed. So I ended up going with a duck for this one because I don't know, I was going to do a bear that was holding like honey, but it appealed to me. So yeah, I was struggling to come up with things to make this yellow. But I eventually settled on a little piece of cheese. Maybe he stole it from someone. I don't know where it came from. But he ended up with a little piece of cheese in his mouth. Maybe he's just so sneaky and he just takes a lot of things from people. Because, you know, that's how that's how ducks are. They they take your things, they take your they take your cheese without you knowing. So after I was happy with that, I added some little stink lines because maybe the cheese is old. Maybe that's why he took it. So I went over it and I just did the inking process. You already know. And so let's just skip to the coloring. Bam, what? Oh my gosh, we're already here at the coloring thing. The coloring doohickey thing. Yeah, I was, I'm, I'm tired, okay guys? So I just ended up coloring his little beak, like this pretty orange that I used for the squirrel. Sorry, Frank. And I colored him yellow. It was actually hard to find the right shade of yellow, surprisingly. It always ended up like looking really orangey, but that's what I ended up using for the shadows. Okay, I am back. So I actually ended up adding like a tiny little outline around the feet. And I thought that ended up looking really, really cute because I couldn't really make a thick outline because his feet are the size of the outline. Adding some shadows and we are done. Now let's give him a quick little name. Okay, and that is it for Cat. He is very sneaky. He loves to do a lot of things, like steal people's cheese. Like, the lighting has completely changed from the last time, so let me just... Okay, I just turned on the lamp, so it's kind of like shadowy, I guess. That is going to be it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope you have an amazing day. Bye!